I'd really love to talk with you about the business grid and the mission empire of light grid. And they are completely different grids. And why this invitation today is to anchor into the mission empire of light grid and continue our divine soul out, our soul art missions there. Yeah. Thank you. I've got beautiful compliments for my top. Thank you, everyone. Now focus. <laughs> So first of all, I really want to anchor that the there's nothing wrong with the business grid. It is beautiful and it's completely whole and complete and allow it to exist. Every single grid, every grid in our multiverse, in our very existence is a living consciousness, fractal of source consciousness. There is no, you know, like this perception of wrong or right is not the most accurate. Instead, we can look at what resonates with us right now in this moment and what doesn't. And if the business grid does not resonate and we find ourselves doing our missions in there and it's just not working, this could be why. So the business grid itself is created out of third dimensional architecture. Third dimensional architecture means it's built within third density. Third density exists within linear time and exists with duality imprinted in every single 3D grid, 3D um, code, 3D template, every single software, I guess you could say, you know, or um, building material that third density has, has duality coded within it. And that means good, bad, you know, it means this whole experience, yeah, of right, wrong, fail, succeed. Yeah, and especially the linear time thing, which is really important, which I'll come back to in a minute. There is linear time. Now, inside of business, the business grid, because it's built within the values of third density consciousness, and it's built within the constructs of third density and linear time, what happens is that when people go into that grid, the, the, the grid itself, calls us into a adventure, a way of experiencing life that is coded with, for example, I'm just going to give it to you like this. Let's just start here. So if the business grid is within linear time and duality, because it is, it was made in third density. Now let's have a look at the divine mission empire of light grid. That, you know, if, if we're looking at having an empire of light instead of a business, the grid work itself is a fifth density grid. Fifth dimensional um, architecture is unified. So there is no more duality in it, which means that within a fifth dimensional architecture, there is no experience of failure. There is no experience of right and wrong, right? It's everything's unified. Everything gets to exist. Everything is. And inside of the fifth dimensional architecture, we're no longer playing with linear time. We're playing with what I call soul time. So when we look at 3D architecture, 3D architecture plays with linear time and the linear time it plays with is our lifetime. So this human body, this Gabby Kowalski life, right? And if I live to 150, then I've got 150 years. And that's what's coded within the business grid, this time give me a yes if you've ever felt time scarcity within the business grid there's not enough time there's so much to do like there's this like literal experience of always friggin like not enough time cool you got it awesome time pressure oh so much yes 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 great and by the way this is the experience because the grid itself has that within its architecture it's like when you're there that's the universe that's all that can be experienced right now, in 5D architecture, the fifth dimensional grid work does not have that. Instead, it holds a different architecture. Soul time is, well, you tell me, how much time does your soul have in its existence? What do you believe to be true? Let me know in the chat. How much time does your infinite, infinite, timeless, infinite, yes, infinite, Great. 
And so within the fifth dimensional architecture, where literally the grid is coded with infinite time, soul time, we're no longer looking at one lifetime. We are connected to other lifetimes that we've had on planet Earth. We've called back so much of the gifts, the memory, the uh, tools that the hundreds of thousands of lifetimes we've had on planet Earth have actually played a part to this one. Imagine if every lifetime you've had on Earth was like one of your days here and you just saw it as a day, yeah? And then each day adds up to the greater whole, which is your entire life. Well, this is the, like, you know, the expansion into soul time. And so in the 5D grid, when we're, when we're serving in our missions, when we're building, when we're creating, we're no longer doing it in scarcity. We're no longer doing it with, oh, I've got to get it all done now. Yeah, because it's, it's timeless. Yeah, we're so connected to, cool. I play, I do. My life on this planet is part of one of the many lives that I have in the universe, multiverse. And we're also very centered in quantum now time, which means everything's existing at the same time. And we're more interested inside of this fifth density grid to anchor our codes, to anchor the frequencies we came here to anchor, then to look good in the 3D world, then to, yeah. So now let's have a look. This is a aspect, right? Now, now when we look at the duality coding within business, in duality, there's always got to be the opposite of something, right? So if there's success, there's failure, yeah? And so what that means though, that in the in having a beautiful temple or mission, empire of light, and I'll go a little bit deeper into that shortly. Actually, we'll go into that a lot deeper after, after the activation as well. Yet, when we look at the fifth dimensional architecture where we're in that grid and we are so present to unification and unity and we've got every lifetime we can't mess it up we've got so much abundance flowing we're actually able to then serve in abundance create in abundance there's so much abundance available the very fabric the air that we breathe is abundance therefore we follow our joy we follow our excitement we you know, like when we do anything, it's always coming from a pure alignment. It's the expression of our soul, you know, serving. Yeah. When we go into the other grid, the other grid has a different architecture. And in the other architecture, we actually experience duality, not unification and flow and abundance. Within the third density grid, someone can make money, but that doesn't mean they're going to experience the abundance that they could in this fifth density grid because it's a different architecture and it's not the stuff that has us experience freedom and abundance it's our embodiment it is the breathing and being free and abundant that has us experience it and so when we look at the business grid itself because it's got the architecture of duality there can be an experience of comparison of competition that we could look around at other souls. By the way, remember, we all came, we all said yes, we came to planet Earth to do what? To repair grids, to activate grids, to birth grids, to anchor grids, to literally build a new crystalline age of existence, right? And when we're in the business grid, if we've got competition and comparison running, if we're, act like if we're connected to templates of competition and comparison within that grid architecture, then instead of looking around all the other people that are, you know, like offering offerings, you know, that could be similar to our own and seeing them as a part of the mission and seeing them as yes, freaking awesome. More people are offering these types of freaking products and services in the, in the world. What instead can we experience? Tell me if we're in a 3d business grid and we see other people offering things that are similar to us, what could be our experience? Let me know in the chat, please. Competition. That's right. They're eating our pie. Oh no, jealousy. Now, gorgeous friends, is that fun? Is that free? 
Do you reckon our souls actually came to planet Earth to feel jealous and compete with our brothers and sisters? <laughs> our beautiful freaking families of light that we've come to Earth with, right? Now let's take it. No, absolutely not, right? Now let's shift it and go into the 5D grid. And when we're in the 5D grid where there is unity in this soul time, and all we are like, we are so connected to the fact that when we came to Earth to regrid, recode, and recreate the planet, and we weren't meant to do it alone. By the way, who wants to do that all by themselves? Nobody. We came as a massive team, right? And because we came as a massive team, when we are anchored in this place and we see other people sharing certain messages, sharing certain you know offering very similar offerings to us we anchor in the knowing and the remembering that each and every one of us is a unique fractal of source and has our own unique soul codes our own unique, unique codex running in and out of us and we need more and more and more similar offerings to be all over the planet sharing light codes in the 5d grid our offerings are literally living consciousness. They're like birthing a person that goes out and makes friends. And if you birth a beautiful person of light, like a gorgeous, good person, you know, and that that's the offering and other people do the same, it just means that there's more and more and more beautiful light all over the world. And everyone out there will resonate slightly differently to different people. So I could birth an offering and it will resonate to a percentage of the people. And then somebody else births an offering to similar to mine, but it's a frequency will be different because there's, you, we, never can, we can never, ever, ever copy 100% someone's offering. It's impossible. The frequency that it's birthed from is mine or yours or somebody else's. And the next person that does it, they're not my competition. They're my team member. They're part of the mission. They're also here sharing light and their slight different configuration within their soul will allow other people that are even more in resonance to receive from them to receive the same light ultimately what this means is inside of this grid work we co-create with source consciousness source consciousness sends out directives and those that can action them birth things and every one of us gets to share our light all over the planet whereas within the third density business grid that's not how it's seen people will look to what others are doing to see what's working for others and copy them people will look to what others are doing to gauge if what they're doing is okay to know what they should do they literally look outside of themselves so within the business grid people are looking outside of their soul for answers around their mission within the divine mission empire of light grid where do we look we look within we have like horse blinkers on we don't even see what anyone's doing we simply do our art we let our art flow through us in the business grid the drivers are profit and fame and status and success yet the success is around looking good in the 3D world. It's around having other people approve of the level or the type of success. In the beautiful empire of light grid, we create our own success templates. We create soul aligned realities, and they may look nothing like the realities that are deemed successful in the 3D world, because they're our creations. We may not want to live in a big house. We may live in a tiny house. And that's so freaking beautiful. We don't have to have all the things that 3D says we have to have. We don't care about looking outside of ourselves to see what we want. In fact, we don't do that anymore. In this grid, our relationship is within. Everything goes within. And we just birth, we co-create with source in such a profound way. We receive directives with source and we continue the journey. When we look at this, it's not that this grid doesn't have abundance. It's 
it, money totally flows into this grid, a hundred percent. Because when we create beautiful, divine offerings and they're so pure, people want them and they're happy to pay for them. Yeah. Yet the driver here is not profits and sales. The driver here is to recode the planet. The driver here is to share our codes with the grids of the planet with the world. It's to literally share and create things that make life better for others. It's to support the evolution, the expansion of joy of this on this planet. The driver here is the transformation of this planet into more light, into a new crystalline age of existence. Here, it's measured differently. And this is the difference. Feel in your heart now and let me know from a soul perspective, from your own mission, soul art perspective, what feels more resonant for you? Does it feel in resonance for you? Does it feel in resonance for you to be driven by leads and sales and profits and your mission success being dictated by the amount of money that you made last month? Or does it feel more resonant for you to receive directives, do the grid work, call the souls in and know and trust you're always taken care of. Know that the whole universe is working with you. Know that your team is so expansive. And know that your actual driver is to repair, restore, build, expand the crystalline grids to create a crystalline age of existence. Is it number one or number two? Number one, fame, profit, success, money, looking good in the matrix. Number two, soul aligned, free, creating alternate realities, creating realities that are birthed with our soul that are outside the 3D.